Citation 1 Charlie Lima inbound for ILS approach to runway 15 right. Citation 1 Charlie Lima good evening. Radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 15 right call when established on final. Guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Quick teaser video today. Working title is developing a new update. A new feature that integrates the Navigraph charts into the actual plane. This is going to be promising. And thanks to the GA of working title for providing a test version so I can check it out, test it out myself and show you guys a bit in advance before it releases. At the moment, it's still in development. Couple of bugs are getting fixed. Couple of new features are getting developed, but more or less it's working as we will see in this video. Let's start the engines here. So I'm working in parallel. So I've set up the flight plan. Once you've finished setting up your flight plan, you can actually go into the cursor control panel. This is the panel that is responsible for displaying elements in the MFD. So here you will press the chart button and then the lower menu and then you'll see that all the charts are automatically loaded depending on your flight plan. The airport, departure, arrival, approach, all of those will be loaded and you can see the chart on the MFD exactly like so. You can even zoom in, scroll left and right and you see your aircraft in there. So there is the geo i'm not sure what the term is but you know where your your plane is with regard to the chart and that's a very important thing as we will see in a bit all right so here we are taxiing making use of the airport chart making sure that we are on the right taxiway and we can also use this to check the runway heading so i can align that align my heading bug there but yeah, very powerful tool and I did not expect to like it so much because as some of you guys might uh, say, it's pretty small, right? You can hardly see anything from here, from this view. But if you go to your instrument views, oh, goodness, <laughs> the bumps here in Colorado Springs are intense. If you uh, zoom in uh, by just normal zooming in or using your instrument views, then you can see it better in the immersion it brings is something that is hard to explain until you experience it for yourself. Not only for the VR users, I mean, even for quote-unquote pancake users like me using monitors. I have an extra monitor on my side where usually Navigraph Charts is loaded in, but having it right on your MFD, right inside your plane like this, it's a lot easier to navigate. You don't have to move your vision elsewhere. You can keep looking straight in front of the plane. That helps a lot. Tower Citation 1 Charlie Lima ready for departure runway 35 right. Citation 1 Charlie Lima winds are 332 at 9 are knots cleared for takeoff. Runway 35 right. Cleared for takeoff runway 35 right Citation 1 Charlie Lima. And when you are done referencing your charts, ready for takeoff, cleared and everything, you can turn off the charts like so. And focus on what's in front of you. Focus on the takeoff. Oh, and uh, one important clarification though. Some people might not be familiar with Navigraph is. Navigraph is a paid subscription service that allows you to access updated nav data and charts for airports all around the world. So you'll need a Navigraph subscription in order to make this Navigraph integration work. Makes sense, right? But yeah, at this moment, they are not yet um, thinking of integrating it anywhere else aside with Navigraph. I highly recommend that subscription though if it's within your budget. The immersion it adds is something that is unparalleled. I've been subscribed to the Navigraph service for almost two years now and I haven't regretted it since. Fast forwarding a bit here, 
we're now actually on our descent and I'm looking at the arrival chart. This particular arrival has a lot of vertical constraints and even speeds constraints. So very helpful, very useful to keep it there. Don't actually need the other details on the MFD as much if you have all these details already in the chart and you know exactly where you are, your position with regard to it. So very useful stuff. And of course, the views don't hurt either. <laughs> but that's a different topic altogether. Now with this picture, some of you might have questions. Is night mode going to be a thing? Well, I also asked that. Apparently, the Navigraph CEO also asked that when they were working with Working Title. But based from K2, the member of Working Title who was an actual CJ4 pilot, it wasn't a thing in the CJ4. So it had charts, but only the, the day mode. Night mode was not a feature in there. So that might not become a thing here as well in order to preserve the realism factor. But who knows, it's technically possible, so things might change. If you want it, request it, and we'll see what the team will say. Citation one, Charlie Lima, exit runway when able. Anyway, so if you guys want to see these charts in action, I will make a full flight soon, so we can experience it from beginning to end with minimal cuts. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and all that stuff. And I'll keep you posted when the working title team has uh, released this particular version to the public. Right? Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick teaser. Let me know what you think. Looking forward to your comments. Have a good day. Clumsy flying. And bye-bye.